What up? Welcome back. It is Bones. And today we're going to take a quick look at some custom work that I have done on my recently reviewed CW The Flash from McFarland's DC Multiverse. Now there was a couple of things that I planned to do. Basically, first off, that horrible cut that they did up here on the torso that looked like, you know, like two V's or two teeth. I just wanted to really shape it out and give it a little bit of a cleaner look. And then since I was there, I went ahead and modded a little bit the neck, the torso, and also gave it a black wash. Because if you look at some of the images from the TV show, a lot of times the suit even though it is red, it has a lot of dirtiness to it because it's kind of like a leather suit and you could see the the darkness in some places and, and you know, just to dirty it up a little bit to make it look up, to give it a more realistic look. But here he is, I am done. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Starting off all together, it does have a completely different look with the wash. Now I did have a little bit of trouble picking it up on the camera, but then I, I figured out a way to like darken it up a little bit and then you could actually see the wash a little bit more predominantly. So right now we'll take a look at the different footage that I have, but all in all, you could really see the difference. So first up, this figure was pretty Weird because <laughs> aside from that ugly abdomen cut that he had here above on the torso area, for some reason he looked up really well and he still does, but he could not look down. Like I tried to, to make him look down and he kind of did, but it, he, he just got stuck. So I did mod out that. Well, first things first, I did take them all apart. That's the first step. I heated them up with the heat gun and then pulled them apart. And then now that I have them apart, I could go ahead and work on them. So first, I, I bored out the neck hole with the Dremel, made a little notch in there, and that allows him to actually look down more than enough. Now he looks down really well, giving him more a full range of motion up and down. Get all the movement out of there. And then the next main thing I did if you go down to the torso, you'll see that I sliced out those jagged edges that made it look like boxy, like kind of modular look. Now, you can do this various ways. I was going to heat it up and then cut it. But what I noticed is that the rubber was really soft. So I didn't, I didn't think there was a point in heating it up. So what I did is I got a fresh razor blade straight out of the package. Now, be careful because these are sharp. You can use an X-Acto knife or any other way you want to cut it. But it actually had a line that you could actually follow. So the one thing I did do is when I did start cutting it, I kind of cut it at an angle. Because if you look at the bottom of it, it's really flat. But any other torso that you look at, it's kind of has like a taper. So where it thins out towards the outside of it. So I started slicing. I did one side. And then I did the other side and then the piece just fell out perfectly and then what I had to do was trim down that inner part to make it thin to where it fits like a regular torso does and it doesn't have that flat blunt end to make it feel boxy or to restrict the articulation there but in the end I got it and then the last thing I did was I heated it up with a lighter to like break down any little you know any little fringes and stuff like that that come off the plastic and then I smoothed it out with my finger just to make it look nice and smooth. And it actually came out really well. It still fits. Now, one thing I did have to do that I noticed was that he was kind of tall and the, the upper torso didn't sit down all the way on the, on the abdomen part. So when I did get that big peg that, that connects the torso to the bottom part, I decided to actually slice it. I did this by heating it up to make it soft and then I sliced it with the razor blade and then I sliced a very small like millimeter piece off of it and actually when you put it together I do another trick I like drill two holes and then put like a plastic peg in there but for right now I just super glued it just to you know 
get the work done and you guys could see how I did it. But it actually still holds and it works really well, so that's not a big problem. But then once I got it to the, the size I wanted, I glued it together, let it dry, and then I practiced by setting it down on here. Heating it up, of course, because you don't want to force it because the super glue is not going to hold, you know, with a lot of strength. But it did fit, you know, perfectly. The little gold lines matched up here in the front. And I was really happy with it. Now you could still move it around and get the range of motion at the torso. It still works. But before we get into that, I did do a wash. Now when I did the wash, I don't really like like washes a lot. I mean, they look cool when they're done right. But sometimes uh, people, you know, go overboard and then you get things like this. And, and that's really what turns me off on washes <laughs> when you like overdo it and it just looks like a dirty figure it doesn't have any you know depth to it it doesn't like go in the cracks it's like pretty much all over the whole figure so it's a little testy the way you got to do it you gotta like get in the cracks but wipe off any excess and then just look at it look at it the way it looks does it feel like like it needs a little bit here it doesn't always have to be perfect it, there you know nature's gonna provide little random things that just happened but i started you know i did the legs i did the boots I, I did the trunks i did the arms i did the body and then i did the head because that was like the more tedious part because you don't want to get it all dirty like on the where the eyes are or where the mouth is you want to keep it pretty clean so you gotta like just get it in there and then wipe it down with a cloth or with a paper towel and, and it even matters the way you wipe it off. You don't want to wipe it towards where you don't want it. So sometimes you have to wipe it like the opposite way. It's a real frustrating thing. And you just got to practice and practice until you get your techniques down. And I've done it a couple of times, so I'm pretty good at it. But, you know, nobody's perfect. But even in like all the little parts that have like little texture, that's where mainly I did the wash. But then I also added it to like where it has little wrinkles in the suit, like in the elbows, in the wrists. Pretty much anywhere I felt that it would look good, I added it there. And then down here at the legs, you also have like these patches here that have texture inside. So I wash those and it just brings out the little grain that it has in there. So now it doesn't look just like a bland plastic figure. If you look at it all together, it actually looks, you know, like a leather, like it, the suit is leather. So it's it's pretty nice the way the final product actually came out. Still, like I said before, you have articulation in the arms, in the legs, even the torso. When I did the torso, I actually notched out the where the ball peg goes in there because just to give it a little bit more range. And then if you remember where those two little points were coming down, that's actually what stopped him from crunching forward. But now that I freed it up and then I actually put a notch in there, he actually crunches forward pretty good. And he also could lean back very well. And it actually fits really smoothly. Like any figure, it's gonna like move the lines a little bit and stuff, but it still looks good. Like I'm actually having a lot of fun messing around with him now that he's painted. Now. I have not sealed them yet because that's another thing I was going to say is that you want to keep messing out, messing around with the wash and, and dabbing it and touching it and don't seal it until you're completely happy with it because sometimes you look at it and you're like, oh, it, it's like too, it bleeds out too much here. So you like wipe it off and you never want to seal it because once you seal it, there's no turning back. It's going to be really hard to get any of that wash out of there. But he looks really nice. Even down here at the boots, I got the wash in really good. And if you look at him from the bottom, I didn't touch that. But if you go to the back of his knees, he has some wash there. Wash on the, the top of the boots. Going up to the back, you can see the wash I did on the trunks. And then there's the back, which also had little grain areas that took a wash. And another thing I did is I actually heated up this accessory, this like energy accessory. And when you heat it up, it gets really soft. 
and then you put it on him and that allows you to actually like push it down and it gets more form fitting to the suit and it sits really nice on there looks really good uh, I, I like the way it looks now before I would just I put it on there and then I threw it off because I was like it, it pops up in some places but now that it sits perfectly there like hugging his body that little energy lightning effect looks really really nice so all in all really happy with him now this is the final speedster that I did in like these like last two weeks of course first I did Godspeed and I repainted him with a more like yellow gold color and then I did Wally West Flash where I just <laughs> did a bunch of stuff just to make him you know pop a little bit because he was kind of like just bland to me but now these three guys look really good together I'm really loving this CW Flash like the way the leather now looks like real leather instead of just looking like a plastic toy plus i have to say that the way they did that abdominal cut up here was really really unappealing and now it's smooth and it like it fits the contour of the torso so really happy with the way he came out and this just goes to show you don't be scared you know get a figure test them out see how it goes and you could make these figures look a hundred times better. Anyways, guys, keep hunting out there. Keep collecting. Keep customizing. And I will see you on the next one.